Hello guys, how are you? Good evening. It's your girl Alero Juliet Abo, uh, the CEO of Jaded World Plus, a world of, um, of catering where we bring you different cuisine from all over the world. So this evening I'm making a um, channel um, food or soup, which is called Bagbo Fofo. It's just a combination of um, grounded, um, grounded um, melon or a greasy, you know, uh, which is basically the which is basically this, that's melon or a goosey, you know. Um, anyway, in the pot already, and I've got a bit of, in the pot already, I've got water and I've got a bit of crayfish, you know, that's what you see in there that looks like, it's a bit funny. So now, I'm going to add my um, dry pepper, I'm gonna add dry pepper, because this food requires dry pepper. But the one I'm making is, um, um, bagbo for four, that's, um, a goosey with okra, so not just the uh, the normal goosey one. So that's the dry pepper I'm adding in there. Add as much as you want, you know, um, as much pepper as you can take, you know. When I'm cooking, setting food, I don't do measurements. So that's the uh, pepper gone in there already. Uh, just give it a bit of a stir, and then the next one, it's blended uh, spices. The next one is the blended spices which I normally get people to bring from Nigeria for me so that's that one gone in there so you stir stir you know stir I've already parboiled my meat so uh, I parboiled chicken and pork that's what I've got there and at some point I'm going to add uh, at some point I'm going to add um, my mackerel fish that's what I fancy with uh, prawn so that's the mackerel fish there that will go in last because I mean it cooks too quickly and that's the uh, prawn there you know um, so that's going and cooking away you know and then also with this food I don't like cutting corners I just go with the way with this kind of food I don't like cutting corners I go with the way my grandmother taught me so that's bitter leaf dry bitter leaf gone in there dry bitter leaf not a lot to overwhelm it you know it's almost similar to like cooking pepper soup but the difference is you put more um blended um melon or a goosey in there than anything else so that's going down it's uh, boiling away so while that's boiling away we really, um chopped my okra that's the okra that i've chopped you have to chop the okra quite chunky because when it gets in this food it disintegrates and you don't really want that in the background i'm playing shakuri music you know um that's what i fancy you know when i'm cooking certain food i try to play certain kind of music you know to go with the flow this food doesn't take too too long you know especially with when i've then pre-boiled everything else you know so that's my um you know all the condiments boiling all the spices and all that so that's the meat going in i've already parboiled it i'm putting the meat in the whole idea is not to let it stay for too long so anyway that's it boiling away there if you receive the um you know the intensity uh, of the um of the spice it's quite you know it's the real deal you know like i said i get people bring it for me from nigeria so that's gone in there you know um so the next thing you want to do is add your um the next thing you want to add is your blended egusi so you know for me like i said i don't measure setting food so you just know when it's enough um that's the way i was taught by my grandma so i stay that one now but the whole idea is to have more of um the um the blend blended egusi you know or grounded egusi in there you know when i say blended i didn't use the blender I use the dry um you know the dry uh, con dry um container or the compartment of uh, your blender if you're lucky to have that sort of thing if not you know just get people to blend it from nigeria i don't like buying from here in the shop because most of the thing they sell to us is substandard and because the people are desperate people who are in the diaspora they're very desperate in the people who are in that diaspora, they are very desperate, so they just sell rubbish to us. So, and for me, you know, when I'm eating food, I want to eat proper food, you know, uh, or nothing at all. So there you go. With well, certain kind of food, you can't just cut corners, you know. So I've added a bit more egusi in there, you know. 
a bit more you can see so like i said you know with this kind of food you just with this kind of food you just gauge and measure i know when it's enough you know at this point now i'm adding just a few bit more of some of the um ingredients so just a little bit more of the um dry bitter leaf you know in there so as you can see it's looking wow already you know the next step is to add my prawns that's my prawns gone in there and then i'm going to i'm adding my okra as you can see so there's this lovely lovely um, long black spice the Igbos and the Shakiris or people around the river right here, I don't know about it. It's called um, Egidije, I think, I'm right. And then you, but the thing is, you have to take out the uh, seed. If you don't take out the seed, you know, it makes the soup bitter, you know. So that's been, uh, but, but for you to get that seed out, usually, you know, with the way I was taught by my grandma, you know, I, um, I um, put it in the, hot water or cold water you know you know so that you, you know it would be easy to crack so as you can see that's the soup you know cooking away and, then, and i'm enjoying the shakri music in the background you know enjoying the mu shakri music so at this junction you want to add your um maggi you know you want to add your maggi or you add your salt you know depends on you know what catches your fans or for me to use maggie you know like i said i don't use salt and when i do is um i use um either cube nor or the powdered one well i mean jumbo you know so i'm adding my jumbo to taste that's it there because it's too much not good for the uh it's not good for us you know to be honest so uh, one and a half you do and when you're cooking anything that has to do with okra for me i find okra a bit um you know because of the sliminess it makes you feel like vomiting so you should add enough pepper basically to be bag for for in the house yo and now right about now that's what's popping so you see but those uh, urobo and shakiri people uh, that know about this food you know you know it, it gladdens the heart you know so I'm singing away the fish comes last this one with a uh, starch or with fufu or with um, pounded yam <laughs> you can see look at how beautiful it is so the fish is going to come in last my grandmother taught me to soak fish in um, salt water so that the seasoning the salt will go in because fish can be a bit bland you know, so there you go, adding the fish. I don't mess about it when it comes to my fish. Show. And my daughter luckily loves her fish too. Hey! The music is just saying that all Shakiri children, who wear a children, should come out and praise God. That's what it's all talking about. So I've added a bit more pepper because I can see that the pepper is not enough and you reduce the um, heat because if you don't reduce the heat the fish will get cooked and disintegrate you know um, and then it might not cook properly so that's what's going down people and that soup there is going to go with ah, pounded yam I'm adding a bit more water it's a bit thick and the fish not cooked yet boiled my um i boiled my um what do you call it my meat the chicken and the pork it's so nice with chicken and pork to be honest with me you know so 
Hey, 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 Rami. Oh my god. Oh my god. The taste is just sending me to La La Land. In me right now. Don't be scared of adding um, more ingredients or spices, you know, as you go. So there you have it. Soup just needs to be, you know, because of the fish, just gonna give you like the next six to eight minutes. And voila, job done. Job done, job done, job done. As you can see, job done. I'm adding, adding my Maggi sauce because I don't want to add any more of the um, cube Maggi. I'm adding, adding my um, liquid Maggi. Aha. My daughter loves this soup. And she's getting a bit impatient. Can't wait to dig in. Like I said, give it the next few minutes for the octopus to, you know. That's Bagbo for full life. It's not rocket science. It didn't take too long. Once your meat, your chicken or whatever that you need to use is all cooked, then the rest is not difficult. It's just quite easy. To. So this is the last one I'm going to add to it, and that's it. And try as much as possible when you're stirring. Try not to, you know, heat on the fish too much, you know, because it would easily crumble. So that's it. Job done. So basically, it's a uh, uwa buffalo, and um, you blend it. Oh, I don't have the ingredients. Well, before the um, blended stage, I don't have it. But when it's blended, this is what it looks like. So it's basically uwa buffalo omilo. You know, a little bit of the omilo. It looks big. You know, you know, but you don't just need a little bit of it because if you put too much, then overwhelms you know the, the so you just need a little bit blend it together you know then your pepper normally my grandma will use even though she had a blender but she was a traditional woman to the core she would use um a grinding stone she said that's where you get the real deal and i did believe i do believe her and i still i did believe her and i still still believe her because you know and with blend uh, with um grinding stone so then you add your dry bitter leaf or your belletete there is a taste, another uh, something similar to uh, bitter leaf, but it's not. So, is that you add your belletete dry bitter leaf? You know, you add it, and that's it. You add things that you like along the way. You could use fish on its own, or you could use fish, meat, you know, whatever catches your fancy. You know, then you put a bit of a uh, dry prawns or dry crayfish, dry crayfish, to be honest, dry crayfish that has been blended. You add it into it, you know, put your pepper to taste and everything. Add the blended egusi, cut the okra, but sometimes you can cook it on its own without the um, okra, you know, um, you can cook it without the okra. But I like to put the okra to stand it out from pepper soup because Shekiri don't cook pepper soup, we put a bit of um, dry bitter leaf and we add um, um, egusi, that's what stands us out, you know, with our pepper soup and it's a little bit more watery. But then again, because I'm going to use this one to eat epa, you know, or um, or pande jam, swallow basically. So that's why I've done it this way, you know, putting the okra. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Leave your comments below, subscribe to our channel, share, like, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. It's your girl Alero saying peace and out. God bless you.